Hey guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. The thing I'm going to make is going to be chocolate eclair cake. This is super easy, and I've also seen a couple different variations, but this is just the recipe that my family and I use. Um, I think, I don't know where my mom got this recipe at, but um, I enjoy making it. So right here, I just have a nice nine by 13 pan, and all you're gonna wanna do is um, take some graham crackers and layer them across the bottom in one even layer. Our uh, 9 by 13 lined with our graham crackers and now we are going to move on to our mixture that's going to go in it. So just a bowl and a rubber spatula and the first thing you're going to want is two boxes of French vanilla pudding and pie filling mix. So you just want to take those two packages and next now I don't question this next you're going to want 20 ounces of milk I don't know why it isn't in um, cups or whatever but you want 20 ounces of milk and um, I'm just using skim milk that's what we have on hand um, I've always just used skim milk um, but I'm sure you could use whatever milk you have on hand also now you're just going to want to mix this until you get that custard like consistency two eight ounce packages you'll need it you'll need just a total of 16 ounces so we have two just adding in one container at a time folding it in making sure everything gets well incorporated and incorporated you're going to take half of your uh, filling and spread it evenly over your graham crackers once you have this all spread out evenly you're going to take another set of graham crackers and put them on okay so i have my second layer of graham crackers and I'm going to add our final layer of our uh, pudding cool whip mixture. Once again you're just going to want to spread this out as evenly as possible. And now we're going to add in a final layer of graham crackers. And this is the most important layer because we're going to put an icing on top and it's easier and it looks better if the graham crackers are as tight as possible. Okay, by the way, I think they must have a um, downsize to the box because a box used to last and you could do this and have extra. And now I don't even have extra. So I think they must have downsized the box. Um, so just maybe, I don't know, if you have extra, I would put that into consideration too. Because this box, I mean, it should be tighter than this. I just don't have enough to do that. Okay, so the next thing you're going to need is some um, just regular, you know, canned or container icing. You got chocolate fudge. Um, you're going to want to take the top off. Make sure you get all of the aluminum off because we're going to put this in the microwave. This is the best, easiest way to spread this and get it really nice. So we're going to put it in there for about 15 seconds and stir it up and see how it is. Okay, so we're still pretty solid. Um, so I'm, and I can feel just the temperature of it. I'm going to put it in there for another 15 seconds. Okay, so it's nice and warm, and it's pretty liquidy. So I'm going to kind of want to move a little fast here. So, and it's pretty much, let's see. Yeah, so I'm just mixing it in. That's Sager Girl. So I'm just going to pour it over and warming it really helps because it's really liquidy. So 
so. Okay, so once that's done, all you can, uh, need to do is cover it with some maybe aluminum foil or just cover it and put it in the um, refrigerator, I would say, for at least eight hours overnight. Or, you know, like, yeah, eight hours. I don't know. Um, we'll be having this probably in like 16 hours tomorrow um, for Easter dinner. So I'm going to put some aluminum foil on it here in a minute. I'm going to let it kind of set up and put it in the fridge. Thank you.